Hello, it's Connie from Lamp Unto My Feet, and I'm back. If you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt. Because <laughs> we're back from church, my husband's taking a nap. I said, great time, Lord, we could just go ahead and, and proceed with this part. Um, still in the book of Joel, who I like to call Joel. Um, and this part, uh, I, it was kind of, I named the other one on the fly, and I named it Minor Prophet, Major Promise. That was the first one that I did um, with dealing with Joel. But you don't have to, there's going to be one more. I think there's going to be one more. There might be more than that, but I'm not sure. Right now, that's what I first see. Um, but you don't have to watch them in order, okay? Uh, it's not necessarily that you have to see them in order. Uh, but this does come just it so happens that it comes after the part that we read um, in the other video. Okay, let's jump right into it. It's still Joel chapter 2, but we're going to hop down to verse 28. Okay, and it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I pour, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. This uh, video I am going to give a name to <laughs> ahead of time. And this is going to be Minor Prophet, Major Prophecy. Okay, um, everyone has heard that beautiful portion before it's been quoted many times before it should, after, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. This is talking about pretty much the end days. Um, and this is what we're seeing now. I always consider this to be a very exciting um, prophecy. And it's interesting because this is coming from a minor prophet, yet God gave it to Joel. Uh, and it's uh, we, we see this now, that the Holy Spirit is being poured out upon men and women. It's an interesting phenomenon. Um, I don't know if you're like me. I don't watch a, a lot of TV. I'm not, I just don't find TV that interesting. Um, unless it's just something that just got, grabs my attention. I, I actually like the old shows and stuff. But I end up watching more uh, YouTube. And I have watched a lot of teachings. I love, I love to watch teachings. I just enjoy it. Um, and I also have just come across a lot of um, videos where the people talk about um, dreams that they have had, dreams about the Lord's second coming, um, dreams about the rapture, dreams about um, the mark of the beast and all this. Um, and I know that there is the tendency to not necessarily, and we should not believe everything we're, we're told in Scripture to test the spirits. So don't, you know, necessarily believe everything, but everyone can't be lying either. It's, and it's, I, I think it's beautiful that a lot of people come on to YouTube and then will share about their dreams. I believe it's possible because I did have a dream going back many years ago when I was a young Christian about the rapture. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll share it in a couple of minutes. So I'll, I'll share my dream about the rapture. Uh, but we can't say that everybody is, you know, doing it for attention or for hits on their on their tube or on their uh, channel or whatever. And it's not just that, but there's there's an outpouring of the spirit in many Bible believing churches, um, many um, you know, upon many ministries and. It goes to the fact that God, at, toward the end, we don't have a, a lot of time left. We don't have a lot of time. We, the Lord is coming back, and I don't, I don't know when He's coming back. The Bible says that only the Father knows when He's going to come back. Okay, but the Holy Spirit is. I can tell you for a fact, and all you have to do is really look at, at what's happening. The Holy Spirit is is moving. You see. Um, in other countries, in communist countries, in Muslim countries, you see is, is Islamic nations, you see people coming to Christ. There's an outpouring 
the Holy Spirit is moving in very exciting ways. There's a, there's a really fun song, and I can't remember exactly who does it. I want to say it's Seventh Down. I forget their names. But they sing a great song called God is on the Move, which is, uh, which is true. God is on the move. And the whole thing is the, the God is, is doing something supernatural. Okay, he's doing something supernatural. The Holy Spirit is none of this world. He's not super. He's he's not of this natural world. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Godhead. He is supernatural. You know, he's being poured upon, poured out upon our sons, our daughters, our uh, men, young men, old men, and this is um, having dreams, having visions. Not all visions, of course, are from God. But again, God, the same spirit that is poured out is also the same spirit that gives us discernment. Amen? So that is something for us to, to use. But that is something so that that message stays out here. The message of the Lord has to stay out because of the fact that he is coming back soon and he's not willing that any should perish. So the Holy Spirit is trying to get the message out so that we can uh, share the gospel with those that are lost. He's not willing that any should perish. He's trying to get as many people as he can before the the rapture happens. I'll just share a little bit. I uh, like I said, it's been some years since I had this dream, and I don't. I remember parts of it, and I've I've watched. I think it's the reason I watched other people's descriptions is because I've always waited to see if they say certain things that that I saw. But maybe the Holy Spirit re reveals in different ways, too. So that doesn't mean that they're not right or I'm not right. Um, but I had a dream many years ago. And I'm not really sure where I was. But I had a dream that I was climbing this hill. And there were other people climbing this hill. And people, it was the daytime. Um, and it was really beautiful. This is before, actually... I really got into hiking too, which I think is interesting. <laughs> but I, I was climbing like this hill or this mountain or something, and people started to rush past. And I asked them, well, what's going on? And the person said, he's coming. The Lord is coming. And I, had, I was a young Christian, so I knew what they were talking about. They were talking about the rapture. So I hurried up to follow them. And when I reached the top of the hill, and there was a lot of people that were there, I looked up into the sky, and the sky actually started breaking into different colors. And really, this, this, like an explosion of lights and colors, really beautiful. I don't know if that is what um, is going to happen during the rapture. I'm not saying that it is, but I'm telling you, I did have a dream about the rapture. And just, you know, I share it more to say, you know, this is here's here's an example. Then yeah, he's he's get, going to give us this. He's going to give us. And if he doesn't give you one, I never had one after that. So that doesn't mean that you know. It doesn't mean that you're not you know you're not having the outpouring of the spirit because you are, you know. But um, if if you're walking with the Lord, if you love the Lord, you're having you you ask the Lord for that outpouring. He's going to outpour. He give you that outpouring. But. It was just really interesting. There, there is a part of scripture, and I'll, I'll get it, and I'll talk about it in another in an, another video, um, where it talks about changes that are in the sky, and that the sky, some, something to the effect that the sky does a, a, a furrow, you know. So it's very interesting about that. We don't know. We know he's going to be visible, so every eye shall see him. Hallelujah, right? Every eye shall see the Lord Jesus Christ when he returns. But also, I want to. Uh, also, I just want to pray for you. I want to. Um, actually, I do. I want to pray for you, that you will um, ask the Lord to pour His Spirit upon your ministry. And if you don't have a ministry, I pray that the Lord, that you seek the Lord for a ministry. Because we really don't have a lot of times, so, and we need laborers. Maybe you've been thinking. Maybe you have something that. Um, you have this, uh, you have a, a talent, you have something that um, you've never thought to use. Or maybe you don't know what your, your gift is, but God gave all of us gifts. 
God has given all of us gifts, all of us that love him, all of us that walk with him. He's given us gifts, and they're not gifts to make us rich. They're not gifts to make us famous. They're gifts to be used for his glory. Amen? There's gifts to be used for the kingdom of God. And I pray um, with you, I, I, I'm in agreement with prayer for you, that if you don't know what that, that gift is, and it could be it could be the gift of helps, okay? Everybody, when they think about, like today, um, when we were in church earlier, uh, during the, well, while the ushers were, were, were collecting our, our, um, our tithes and offerings, the pastor's daughter is very talented, and she was playing the keyboard, and she was playing, I believe she was playing uh, Mary Did You Know, because, you know, Christmas coming. And my husband and I were, oh, it was just this, such a talent. This young lady has just this beautiful talent, and she uses it for the Lord. And maybe you've never heard of her. And maybe she's not on Billboard's Top 100. It doesn't matter. He's, she's, she's known, her father knows her name, okay? And maybe you don't know what, what your gift is, but I pray that the Holy Spirit puts an outpouring upon your life so that if you don't know what it is, that he will reveal it to you. Or if you do have a ministry, that you don't become discouraged. He's going to, here, here's his promise to us. Here's his prophecy right from Joel. And it shall come to pass afterward that I pour out my spirit upon all flesh, all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your old men, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Lord, may you pour out your spirit upon each and every person that is watching this video right now, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you meet them wherever they are, Lord, that you will move upon their lives, Lord, that you will just touch their lives and reveal to them what it is that you want. You have a purpose for them, Lord, that you reveal what that purpose is, that you reveal your gifts for your glory and for your honor, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you put an outpouring upon them and that you not allow discouragement to come into their way. We praise you, Lord, for these words. In Jesus' holy name, amen. So that is from Joel chapter 2. And I hopefully maybe if you come through that, if you want to study it, if you want to um, always, if you want to meditate upon God's word, and I will be sharing something else also from there. And I, I'm not done with Joel, so maybe there'll be a couple videos, <laughs> okay? So I hope that this has blessed you. And God bless you, and may the Lord be lifted up in your life. In Jesus' name.